We're talking about masks in the classroom. News News' Katie Turner has been covering this story for weeks now. Joins us live from Mount Pleasant. Katie, Charleston County parents have been fighting masks as recently as last night. Yeah, Brendan, for the last two school board meetings, parents have been bombarding CCSD headquarters saying their kids need to be unmasked because their mental health is at stake. Power to the parents. The classrooms were the safest places of all. Governor McMaster's new order letting them decide if their children should wear masks in the classroom. We have to fight for our kids. You take off the mask. This is what parents have been pushing at Low Country School Board meetings. This is not the new normal. This is barbaric. Health and school leaders across the state have been attempting to share the science behind masking, showing concrete evidence of the efficacy of face coverings in the classroom. Masks work best when everyone wears them. For weeks, Governor McMaster has made his thoughts known about mandating masks in schools. I think, again, it is a height of ridiculosity for a school district to make that decision for the parents. I don't think anybody likes to have to wear a mask all the time, but I don't, you know, I don't like my face looking like this all the time from wearing one eight hours a day, but it's just, it's just what we have to do right now. South Carolina teachers are reacting to the news. It really disturbs me that um, that it's come to this. English teacher Steve Newsom advocates with SC for Ed. It's not that I don't understand why we don't want to do it, but the idea that we can't require something that's for public safety is really something I'm trying to wrap my brain around. Newsom's worry the governor's order might cause more stress for teachers and more spread to students. Whether we agree with it or not, this is going to create absolute chaos for how we deal with students. We're going to have parents who do want students to wear masks. We'll have parents who don't wear masks. And so the school districts are going to have to figure out, you know, they're going to lose either way. One more part of the governor's order stops the requirement of vaccine passports for any reason. For now live in Mount Pleasant, I'm Katie Turner. Count on two.